<laughs> What's up, modern steaders? We got our assistant back today, and now we're gonna be working on framing up all the walls in the chicken coop and hopefully getting the roof rafters up. Ready to get to work? Uh huh. All right, let's go. I'm gonna stand this wall up, and you're gonna clamp it with these big clamps. From you know what I mean? Uh, uh huh. So you go take one on your side, and I'll have one over here. Okay, go for it. Pump it, squeeze in it. These ones are harder to squeeze. Yeah, they're bigger, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, hold this wall for a minute. You got it? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with this clamp. Alright, that should do it. It's moving, but it's not like it's Exactly like now we just gotta square it up and. Today you're gonna do it on your line. No, we don't need to be on the line. We can just because we're gonna we're just screwing into the floor for now. I'm just gonna do a couple of screws, so that way if we gotta move it when we go to square it up, we can. Yeah, that should be good for now. Pull your little trigger. Pull a little trigger. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You want to do one over here? No. You don't want to do my side? No. Daddy, what about these walls? We gotta build them next. Yep, that's good. Keep going. Yep. 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 That's perfect. See how see how deep it went? Uh -huh. Perfect. So then we'll do two here. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yep, go. Perfect. To make the side wall, we're gonna have the nesting boxes on this side. We'll, we'll add those afterwards. We gotta make the bottom board in two sections, and the top plate, we're gonna have one line. So it's gonna kinda be probably a little fun for us to build it and put it together. Now hopefully we measured everything correctly and it's all gonna go in place just as planned, right? Stand it up. I might have to push the wall. I wanted it to dry out more because the boards, some of the boards were wet. So I figured if I oil it today, at least it's had two days to dry versus just morning if I did it yesterday. Because the bottom side's oiled. So, yep. I just oiled where the walls are going for now. Awesome. Thank you, Mama. So you don't need anything? Nope, we're good. Can we do the other wall? You can go take a shower. Thank you. Look, mom made it in a video, Livies. Now we can just screw the two walls together right here. The reason why I'm using screws versus nails, where this is a trailer, it's gonna be moving around and rocking. We won't be moving it a lot, but we will be. 
So the screw should actually help keep it together better. So we got our ridge pole up here which is 12 feet long. We're going to have 18 inch overhang on the front and the back. That way if I want I can put a grain bin out here and it should help keep the water off of it. In the front, we're gonna have a rain barrel. Then we can put gutters on the chicken coop and collect the rainwater to water the chickens with. Right here we have just our template for our rafters. I cut the bird mouth notches, figured out that angle and the top one. And this will be my template. Just cutting all of our rafters now. We got it set at 22 and a half degrees because that's the two pitches we need. So we're gonna cut the top one. So I can mark my 52 inches. Twenty-two and a half. We just keep doing this. We're gonna need 16 rafters altogether. So I'll cut all of our rafters to length with the right angles, and then we'll put our bird mouth notches in it. Once you get it all notched out, you're not going to cut all the way through. Not too bad for a mobile chicken coop. Ready home. Ready home, here we come. <laughs> 